When we first saw these pictures coming up, many people asked, how could somebody do that? Dozens of dogs crammed in cages covered in filth. Tonight, the pet shop owner in charge of these puppies says he has an explanation for everything. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez spoke with him. It's new at 5. Vincent Losaco says he hasn't done anything wrong, despite police discovering 67 puppies crammed in cold cages inside a transport van he owns. It's not illegal, nor inhumane, nor unsafe. The unattended van was parked behind Losaco's Paramus, New Jersey pet store, Just Pets, around 3 o'clock Monday morning. Police say it was 38 degrees in the van, and some dogs had no food or water and were covered in feces. Losaco showed us an identical van, saying he believed police were parked. Partially responsible. They were in a customized van that was fully insulated and fully heating. The temperature wasn't taken until the door was open for who knows how long. As for the feces, Masako says that happened when the van was being pulled onto a flatbed, as seen on this store surveillance picture. I'm sure there's fecal matter all over, probably probably crapping while this is going on because they're so scared. It's unclear how long the dogs were sitting in the potentially unsafe conditions. Losako says he never spoke to the van driver to find out when he arrived. So just for clarification, you don't know what time the truck was... Specifically, no. So then you can't say that it wasn't here for more than a couple of hours? No, I, I, I definitely know it was sometime you just Sunday. You don't know when well, it arrived I, I, here. Uh, right, okay, so then yes, I'll, I'll say I can't say that. It was Sunday. Protesters were campaigning outside the store, demanding it be shut down. Katie Burns wants Lasaco to be accountable for his actions. She bought her daughter's new puppy, Lily, from Just Pups in March and says the dog got sick and nearly died just days later. We would wish that he would take a step back and realize that he um, is really hurting a lot of people, a lot of children, and obviously the lives of of animals. You, you know, take no I, responsibility no, for the dogs no. that they purchased from you that all, have all's, gotten sick. Right. Or all, all's, all's, all's we could do is ensure that they're visibly healthy when they leave. Lasako is already facing 269 counts of animal cruelty charges connected to his East Brunswick store, which was forced to close. Bergen County prosecutors are still investigating what happened here in safest, Paramus. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. The animals were examined and treated, and they're now under the care of Tyco Animal Control. They're not available for adoption while this investigation continues.